And again, yeah. since I'm talking to all these people and everyone uses so many different softwares, I always like to ask what um, software you're using for broadcasting these radio plays because there's so many out there. It's just to give everyone an idea. Um, yeah, there's just so many out there. And every time I ask someone, it's something new. So I'm curious what you guys are using. Yeah, so we are going very, very simple and basic, at least for our first time around. Mm -hmm. um, I've posted it onto my YouTube channel and it's not viewable by anyone mm -hmm. unless you have like the embedded link, et cetera. Oh, gotcha, yeah. And so with Purple Pass, they actually have a widget for it. So once you purchase it, Purple Pass takes care of the rest. Gotcha. So simple, a simple, simple process, and you're using YouTube. Yeah, and yeah. and um, Santa Barbara High School Theater has been using Purple Pass for a while now, so we already have an account on there. Mm -hmm. So this was just one extra great thing that we could add on to. Oh, great! Now we can have this option. Yeah, which opens up so many opportunities down the road. Mm -hmm. For people out of town that can't make it for a musical, we could always upload our musical now and still have people pay to see our production for a limited time. Yeah, because, so like a hybrid event or something. Well, that's exactly it because every um, rights company out there now pretty much has streaming rights for a lot of the popular shows now. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay a little more. But hey, if I have the option of doing a musical in the auditorium, but then I can post three performances online for people out of town who can't afford to fly across the country, why not? Mm -hmm. Let's, I mean, that's the, we all hate this virtual world. I know I do, but at least let's find the positive out of it mm -hmm. that we're forced to do things that we normally wouldn't have done. And we're discovering ways that we can still implement them once we get through this. Yeah, and that's such a common trend. I've I've heard from listening to everyone, all these different promoters trying out streaming for the first time. A lot of people don't like it and I don't I don't blame them because a lot of these people like you guys are going from in-person events interacting hands-on to virtual and it's not the best, but they are finding the positives like you said people out of town can now see the shows and um you're accessing a a broader range of audience. You're getting more people can be a part of the showing. So I think that's cool because once eventually, fingers crossed, when we can go back to in-person events, I think a lot of our promoters are are going to keep, like you said, doing hybrid so more people can access it. So I I think there is some positives that, that have come out of this horrible virus. Like we found new ways <laughs> to reach yes. people. So, I mean, you're right. We have to put that positive spin on it for now just to get us through it. But yeah, I think hybrid events are definitely going to be, there's going to be a lot more from here on out 